Yeah, well, India lost the World Cup final and sure enough, you would be disappointed if you are a fan of the men in blue and who isn't. But I found solace in something. Something that made me chuckle my way out of misery. So here I am to share with you one aspect of the World Cup final that made me laugh out loud despite the heartbreak. Politics. Some hilarious statements were made by politicians who took the chance to play their game when Rohit and co were playing their own. Before we start, a gentle reminder to fellow Indians. Cricket ultimately is a game. We played well, we sadly lost and we need to move on. Now the politics. First up, Mahua Moitra. The Trinamool Congress leader has been in the news for a cash for query scam and after the final, she suggested that Ahmedabad's Narendra Modi Stadium be renamed Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, a witty dig at the BJP government's propensity to take credit for all the good things and blame Nehru for any ill that hits the nation. Moitra had another suggestion as well. ED raids on the Australian Prime Minister. Yeah, you heard that right. The BJP has often been accused by opposition parties of misusing central investigation agencies like the ED and CBI to target its political opponents. Meanwhile, BSP MP Danish Ali blamed Prime Minister Narendra Modi for India's loss. What? Keep aside Modi's Gujarat model push using the World Cup aside, but to blame him for Team India's loss? Well, Ali's argument was that the arrival of the Prime Minister with much fanfare added to the tremendous mental pressure that the players were already under. He suggested that it is a good idea for the Prime Minister to stay away from such events. But jokes apart, let us introspect. Will 11 world-class international cricketers get distracted by the presence of someone in the stadium? Two things. One, Ali is heavily underestimating the Indian players with that statement and two, being an opposition leader, his statement probably only hypes up the Modi effect narrative that BJP often peddles. Well, if you're wondering if Congress said something, yeah, they did. Congress leader Jairam Ramesh slammed the organizers for not inviting Kapil Dev to the final. Kapil himself had revealed that he was not invited to the game in Ahmedabad. The lack of invitation was rather strange considering Kapil led the Indian team to its historic World Cup win in 1983, a victory that the country can't stop gushing even after four decades. Jairam Ramesh had a theory for why Kapil was not invited. He tweeted, Like Bedi, Kapil Dev is known to speak his mind and he did come out openly in support of the agitating women wrestlers a few months back. Considering cricket and politics are not exactly poles apart and BCCI Secretary Jay Shah is the son of Home Minister Amit Shah, one does wonder. It was announced well in advance that Modi would attend the World Cup final and Shiv Sena UBT leader Sanjay Raut seized the opportunity to take a dig at the Prime Minister and Amit Shah. He asked if Modi would bowl and Amit Shah would bat. Look, every thing is a political event in this country. When Narendra Modi Ji's government came in the country, या कोई खेल का उत्सव हो अब एक क्रिकेट है वर्ल्ड कप है उसमें कहाँ से राजनीति लाते हो लेकिन अहमदाबाद में उसका इवेंट चल रहा है जैसे कि मोदी बॉलिंग डालेंगे अमित शाह जी बैटिंग करेंगे या नॉन ऑफ दैट हैपन दो मोदी डिड नॉट बैट अमित शाह डिड नॉट बॉल एंड इंडिया डिड नॉट विन ईदर बट हेयर इज वॉट हैपन वेन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वो हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू फॉर थ्री एंड ऑलरेडी क्रूजिंग मोदी डिड वॉट ही लव टू डू वे वर द कैमरा he waved and smiled like a proud man when India were being hammered. But credits to Modi as well. He was full of heart when presenting the World Cup trophy to Pat Cummins and did not attempt to put on a mask, so to say. Ironically, the official ex-accounts of BJP and Congress showed great camaraderie in rooting for Team India before the final. Well, that was before people began to wonder. Here is what happened. Come on, Team India, said the BJP handle. True that, said the Congress handle in reply, Jitega India. Was Congress doing a clever wordplay around India? The name of the opposition coalition it is a part of? We can only guess. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.